before and some of you have not painted before. So I'm going to start with a little introduction for the people who are new to the process and then uh, if anybody has any questions or comments or anything. Um, so, this studio is based on the principles of creativity as personal growth. Is there any judgment about this? Or? It's really ugly. What's, what would you say is ugly about it? The muddiness. The muddiness. Um, the muddiness and what there's muddiness down below, up above, all over, all over. All over. Okay. So that's a strong judgment. So and it's fine to have a judgment. <laughs> it's good because when I say strong, that means I'm excited that we have something to work with, to open. So if you're painting, if you didn't have to worry about your painting being muddy, and you could enjoy the mud. This is just a piece of paper, it's not a product, right? Well, yeah. it's part of the problem. Yeah, same And more. I don't know if we're supposed to step back and actually look at it or not. Well, that's a good question. Are we supposed to step back you and You don't need look to. At you don't need to, until the finishing part. You don't need to step back and look Whoa. <laughs> Because if you're looking, when you're stepping back here and looking, what's what's going on? Well, I'm like, what do I need to paint? What am I going to do next? Mm -hmm. And so there's a decision-making process in that a little bit. There's an artistic, right. you know, people who are trained artists have a lot of artistic training. You know, I should balance. I should. Um, get the right color in the right place, where do I go next? That's all thinking, right? It's not a fine art. It's actually using paint and paper and a brush as a medium to explore your own inner journey. And, and that inner journey has to do a lot with how we stop ourselves. And as we do this exploration with the paint on paper and the brush and the brush stroke, there are ways that we stop ourselves that become pretty obvious or pretty evident. You know, people who are trained artists have a lot of artistic training. You know, I should balance, I should um, get the right color in the right place, where do I go next? That's all thinking, right? Sometimes just keep working and just keep don't working. step back and look. Don't step back and look and okay. don't worry about muddy. Okay. okay, let it be as muddy as it wants. It's just, this is just a 50 cent piece of paper here. 50 cents? 50 cents. I'll pay you for it afterwards if you worry about it. <laughs> you'll buy it, you'll I'll, buy it from me? No, I'll, I'll just pay for the paper. You can, I wouldn't buy it. No, I have to pay you. <laughs> I'm thinking you have to have an idea. What am I going to start with? I'll paint such and such. I'll paint about so and so. I'll paint about the weather. <laughs> I'll paint my backyard, right? And then you get here and it totally gets turned upside down because that's not what we're, to we're asking for. That's not what we're, what we're encouraging. We're encouraging this depth of creativity this source of creativity to arise and to move through us and to work through us. And as it does, it will come up against the bumps. It'll come up against the little rocks in the stream that are making bubbles. And it will find a way through and around that naturally. When you saw that face that you worked so hard to <laughs> get up there without any judgment yesterday. Obviously, I blanked her up. <laughs> you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was there a judgment there? Okay. Um, I didn't like her face. Oh. I mean, it was um, her features. Her features. Uh -huh. Not that they have to be perfect, but I just uh -huh. didn't like them. Oh, okay. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but yeah. Okay. So that's just a noticing place, right? Right. 
to see that there's a place where there's still some judgment. There's still some trying oh, to yes, make it different, yes, yes. better, right. wanting it to be something it's not, right? Okay, so still that. So still that. Just <laughs> notice, just notice. <laughs> okay. okay. But there's so much more that happens to us in every experience that we have. There's so much more. And so when we allow ourselves not to go into meaning, not to go into analysis, we're letting the biggest thing that it has to bring us come to us. And that comes from our wholeness. It comes from the spirit that is waiting to use us, waiting to move through waiting to, it's, it's actually already doing it. It's just that now we can see it. Now we're on board. Now we're saying, oh, wow, what a miracle life my life is. You know, what a miracle this creativity is. I can really explore. I can really take risks. What <laughs> <laughs> do you want a question? <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm not questioning something. I'm, a I'm asking a question to open up potential, yeah. and you can check if the question opens anything, and if it, what it opens has energy. So you're always looking for the energy or aliveness of something, whether it's disturbing or exciting. Okay. So I have a question. Um, at this point, sometimes when you're like in the middle of the painting, it can be very interesting to ask. A question like if anything big, bold, and unexpected could come in from anywhere, from down below, from any side, from up Oops, above, it's just paint table dance. From behind, inconsistent with what you've already painted, not necessarily with a theme. In other words. Okay. Yeah. Anything there yet? Nope. Okay. I think the black was uh, was the jump. Uh huh. Okay. I can let go. I can let go. I can let go. And when you're letting go on a piece of paper, imagine what that means for your life. That starts to trickle into your life. You start to be able to let go of anything that comes your way. I'm not saying there's no guarantees. Of course, we're all in process from where we are, but at least it's from where I am, you know? It's not from where I think I should be or where I think other people are. We're all in our own journeys, and it's such a beautiful thing. But until you know what happens over there, you don't need to go there, okay? So is there anything else that you paint to distract yourself for right now until you know what's over there? <laughs> and then I painted her and yeah. maybe added more to her hair or her face. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess I should sort of do some little color in between the teeth or okay. so whatever they are. Okay. Sometimes it's just something really little like that that'll take you and move you forward. And now come when it's ready. Okay. Okay. So I think painting like this is fantastic. I, I don't feel the need to do, I mean, I feel like creativity, this vast creativity just works in everything in my life now. It's like following flow, watching the openings, um, listening for yeses. These are all things that friends, friends who paint say. We're looking to see where, the, where we're going and where the opening is next. And the same thing happens on that piece of paper. The painting does not need your approval. How do you know? Uh, <laughs> many, many painting processes later. <laughs> hmm. The first name I didn't know about? Yeah. <laughs> We're learning all these things. Okay. Now, you can choose if you want to fill with more of that color on the painting at the last minute, but you don't have to. That's fine. Okay, so take it down and get another piece of white paper and start again. Good. 
for 50 cents. <laughs> and as soon as your mind takes you that way, you go on this side path, your energy drops. So we're watching the energy also, and that's how we know when we're in flow or out of flow. Creative blocks are wonderful opportunities to open to new, new energy. Okay. okay, let's go paint. Okay. Go in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know why I'm painting this or where it's going to go. I'm just letting the flow of the brush and size. Feeling something in my stomach. I'm just curious as I go. I'm very curious. Sometimes it feels even a little dangerous. 